sometimes it takes a different approach to help you unlock your true potential. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath learning format, you gain relevant skills you can apply to your career right away. Earn your degree from an accredited university and be confident in the quality of your education. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Capella University is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Learn more at capella.edu slash accreditation. You're listening to a Mint Podcast, brought to you by HD Smartcast. Good morning, listeners. Welcome to Top of the Morning by Mint, your weekday newscast that brings you five major stories from the world of business. It's Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. This is Nelson John, and here are our top stories. Top of the Morning by Mint. Sensex and Nifty fell slightly on Monday. Both market indices dropped around 0.4%. Adani Energy Solutions and real estate company Shoba Limited were the top gainers of the day. Paytm again hit the upper circuit, increasing by 5%. Insurance giant New India Assurance Company and coal company Rain Industries lost the most during Monday's trading sessions. Good regulatory practice is like fine art. It needs a deft hand and high skill. However, a lot of regulation in practice feels like swatting a fly with a sledgehammer. And its effect can be damaging to the economy. Let me explain. A December notification from the RBI has resulted in banks like SBI, ICICI and Access denying capital calls from private equity and venture capital firms. The apparent reason is an RBI rule that is aimed to curb a dangerous practice known as evergreening of loans. Specifically, the RBI in December identified situations where Ford lenders were investing in their own alternative investment funds or AIFs which had links to their own bad debt. This is what is known as evergreening of loans. However, thanks to ill-conceived notification, banks are denying capital calls from legitimate AIFs too. This could impact a lot of private equity and venture capital firms, said Siddharth Pai, an office bearer with the Indian Venture and Alternate Capital Association. The inadvertent consequence of the RBI's move is that legitimate PE and VC firms have been forced to suspend these calls for now. The banks for their part have called the RBI's move an act of God and said they cannot meet their commitments. These days, you're more likely to get a spam call than a family or work call. So, it helps to have an app like Truecaller, which tells you who's calling even if you haven't saved their number. Truecaller is a Swedish app, but two-thirds of its users come from India. However, India's telecom ministry might soon introduce caller identification as a default offering. Mint Shovik Das explains how calling and communication works in India and if the government's latest move means that Truecaller's future in India might be in jeopardy. If you live in a metro city, you've seen Yulu bikes around. Small, bright blue and zipping past everyone. The e-bike company specializes in facilitating last mile connectivity. Amit Gupta, co-founder of Yulu, spoke to Mint's auto and mobility correspondent Alicia Sachdev about the company's plans. Yulu plans to raise up to $80 million next quarter, Gupta said. It also wants to sell its low-speed scooters directly to consumers and is working with its investor, Bajaj Auto, to do that. It plans to sell its bikes in India and in 70 other countries. Soon, you might be able to own a Yulu and zoom around to run your errands. Commercial real estate was an expensive investment option for the longest time. But if individual investors pulled together their money, they could invest in the sector. That's what fractional ownership platforms aim to do. Mint senior editor Madhurima Nandi takes a deep dive into this investment option that's become popular since the pandemic. She explains how this model works and who are the major players currently. The market's regulator wants to protect investors too. SEBI is looking into creating a framework for this type of investment. In the run-up to the general elections, Indian voters are more divided than ever. The YouGov Mint CPR Millennial Survey shows that 44% of respondents identified strongly with one or another political party. These people feel deeply about their politics. Rahul Varma and Melvin Kunjmon write that such voters took any bad talk about their preferred party personally. 
they also felt a strong connection towards fellow supporters. They are also likely to engage in a political debate either in person or on social media. They know which way they will vote and they aren't afraid to share it. We'd love to hear your feedback on this podcast. Let us know by writing to us at feedback at the rate lifemint.com. If you enjoyed our show, please share it with everyone else who might like to start their day with a healthy dose of business insights. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with the fresh episode of Top of the Morning. Have a nice day. Top of the Morning by Mint. Sometimes it takes a different approach to help you unlock your true potential. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath learning format, you gain relevant skills you can apply to your career right away. Earn your degree from an accredited university and be confident in the quality of your education. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Capella University is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Learn more at capella.edu slash accreditation.